If you follow this channel, you already know I'm a big fan of Apple Vision Pro. And today, Vision Pro just got a major update with the latest Vision OS 2.4 beta. I'm traveling for another immersive filming job right now, sitting in this beautiful hotel room right here. But I couldn't wait to talk about this new feature. There are a lot to cover, and I hope you are just as excited as I am. Let's get into it. So, the big headline, Apple Intelligent is finally coming to Apple Vision Pro. After you update to Vision OS 2.4, you'll be able to enable Apple Intelligence directly inside your Vision Pro. As you can see here, you do need an internet connection for it to work. Now, I don't really need AI to help me write, but the new Playground app inside Vision Pro is actually pretty fun. As you see here, I use my mom as the person to drive the AI prompt, mixing in different styles and a text prompt for generation. One thing I do notice, no matter how hard I tried, I cannot make my mom look angry or crying, even I specifically asked for it, probably because it is still in beta. But one cool thing about image generation in Apple Vision Pro is that you can save it directly in your photo album. And from there, you can take it a step further using another spatial AI tool to turn it into 3D spatial images. Looking at my mom in sketch art or anime style art in full 3D is both fun and kinda strange. I know, that sounds sad, but my mom is the only copyright free I can use, so there you go. You should really try it though. Generate an AI playground image turn it into 3D and send it to your friends. It will either make their day or at least get a good laugh. Now, let's talk about something actually exciting, spatial gallery. For me and for a lot of people, spatial entertainment is what makes Vision Pro special. Spatial photo, spatial video, panorama, 360 degree photo, and Apple immersive 180 video. This is the stuff that keep me coming back. Once you experience immersive video, there's no going back. 2D just feel flat. And Apple know that, that's why they are launching Spatial Gallery. Mike Rockwell, the guy leading Apple Vision Pro team, actually said, we are excited for users to discover and share incredible new experience with Spatial Gallery. Did you catch that? Share. That means by the time Vision OS 2.4 officially launched this spring, we might be able to share spatial photo and videos like an actual spatial social media experience for Vision Pro. That would be huge, or at least an Apple curated way to submit your work to be considered. Right now, for immersive creators like us, getting our work seen is hard. We have to release our own app, do our own marketing, and fight just to get people to watch. And let's be real, we don't really have those Apple connections and we are not famous. It's not that our work isn't good, it's just that discovery is tough when you are not already in the right circles. But if Apple's open this up, creators like you and me might finally be discovered and heard by millions of other Vision Pro users. That would change everything. And that means now it is the time to step up your game. Learn how to tell great immersive stories, learn how to shoot and edit spatial video in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro 11. When Apple is ready, you need to be ready too. And if you want to learn how, stick around. I will teach you everything you need to know. All right, let's talk about the next big update, Gizmo. If you own a Vision Pro, you know how annoying it is to let someone else to try it. But with Vision OS 2.4, is way easier. Now, when your friend put on the headset, you get a notification on your iPhone. You can just tap continue, pick the apps you want them to try, and start guest mode. And if you want, you can mirror their screen with AirPlay so you can see what they are doing. There is just one downside. If you are watching branded spatial video, Apple TV content, or using our app Spatial Film, you can't mirror it. Apple block screen mirroring for anything with copyright protection. And I get it, but I really hope Apple let developers decide whether they want to allow it or not. This could be a huge feature for education, training, and guided experience. Now, there's one more thing. 
Apple also released a brand new Vision Pro companion app for iPhone and iPad. If you ever use the MetaQuest app, it's kind of like that. You can check for new spatial content, get updates from Apple and third-party apps. This might not sound like a big deal, but it actually changed how we can bring content to users. It makes it easier for people to keep up with new immersive experience, which means more users coming back to Vision Pro regularly. And the more people using Vision Pro, the more reason for us to keep making great content. All right, that's the quick breakdown of Vision OS 2.4 from a spatial creator's perspective. If you want to learn how to create spatial content for Apple Vision Pro, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We will be dropping tutorials to help you master immersive filmmaking. And while you're at it, check out our latest immersive film on Apple Vision Pro. I think you'll love it. See you in the next one.